Simoy today. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Grace. There is no agenda to this video at all. Um, this is basically my last night here before I fly back to Bangkok tomorrow. I have like half a day tomorrow before I do. Um, I'm in my second resort this time. You're looking at a really tan Grace. I have most of my face makeup on which I was kind of doing really badly and I figured why don't I just kind of do it here in front of the camera I know the top of my head is cut off but I'm sitting down and this thing kind of goes as high as it can I guess I just wanted to come on and do my makeup and um you know most of it's already done already I just thought it would be like it's a pretty fun idea to, to, to do it and talk because I'm being bougie I'm just kind of kind of do two highlighters three I'm using the nude sticks nudies all of her face color in Hey honey, this has got to be one of my favorite. So I guess I just put everything on like the high points of my face. It's looking, now that I'm pretty tan, it's looking kind of like bronzy yellow on me, which is kind of strange. But once you blend it out, it's just, it's all fine. And I'm gonna be extra, so I'm gonna put in another layer of highlighter but this time it's gonna be liquid before it was cream also the same brand nude sticks i'm going in with this magnetic nude glimmers in the shade 99 percent angel sounding a little bit more iridescent on camera it looks great in person it's also very natural and glowy and subtle you don't have to kind of worry about looking kind of crazy especially if you just like change colors <laughs> like i think i went down like three to five shades i'm not sure now my lips are kind of chapped, so I'm going to go in with a colored lip balm. This is the one that I kind of just made myself. It's probably pretty gross, but here we are. C'est la vie. I use this like all the time. And I like this because I made sure it was the perfect ratio between lip balm and lipstick. So when you put it on, it kind of like come immediately hydrates and plumps your lips while giving it a bit of a stain. It's really nice. And the good thing about this is that you can always add more lip balm. Or lip oil to it if you want i'm speaking like this is like an actual brand of product it's not it's just something i just like mix together i think i'm just kind of reach reaching the part of the pot where it's like mainly lipstick i know it looks disgusting but um might need to give it a good stir if you can see behind me it's actually like where i'm staying tonight i'm almost done with the face okay so now i'm gonna do my brows before i show you guys what i do with my eyes i'm using soap brows today and i'm going to wet the spoolie with cover effects high performance setting spray 24 hour wear so i was taught that you never spray onto the actual soap brow itself because it's just like not good for it or like hygienic i'm not really sure what the dealio is but so i'm going to take the spritz and just but i feel like it's such a waste like what if it misses like <laughs> the spoolie anyways yeah i feel like it's so bad i'm just gonna Spray the soap brow. So I sprayed the soap brow. Look at me. Um, but you have to be careful, be careful, like not to spray too much water or whatever it is that you use. Um, I like to use setting spray because then, like, it gets real goopy. It's not like as I feel like it's not as effective as an actual bar soap, which I use when I'm at home. I use the soap brows when I travel. I think it's just a lot more long lasting, and it really holds the brows up. Like it sticks up and it's like it doesn't budge unless you wash it off do you think with soap brows it still moves so here's what i do i um brush up my brows first and then i go in with brow gel i guess this is sort of a how i do my makeup while i'm on a holiday especially at the beach because i don't do too much i just thought i'd make you know kind of like the best of it it's my last night in literal paradise sucks to be going back to the city and going back to normal working um situation so it just kind of really really needed this trip and it was super nice and i'm glad i did this but i can't wait to come back here again like some way island anyways now i'm taking this s no lancome brow gel it's um literally in black i'm just going to follow my hairline strokes fill the areas where there's no hair and then I'm going to also kind of set it with brow gel. Super extra, I know. So I'm using this Glossier uh, brow, uh, boy brow. I'm in the color black. Start in the middle um, to make sure there's like no clumps of product that ends up in the front of my brows. I don't really double dip because I don't want too much. So that's my brows pretty much done. Now, because it's my last night, I'm going to 
do some eye colors. I'm using this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, but this one is in the shade Sin, which is very sparkly. So in itself, you can just kind of just um, tap it on and it's already its own shade. If you just want a little bit of shimmer and it stays put on your eyelids, this is pretty much it. Um, I once made the mistake of putting on it all over my eyelid, not knowing how powerful this stuff was. And um, yeah, it was so shiny when all I should have done is only put it down for the shimmers or the glitters that I was going to use. So the parts where I was using matte eyeshadows was pointless. I don't use this one a lot. I'm going to use nude sticks today for my eyes. Sorry, before I do this, I'm just going to line my waterline with this Tarte Sex Kitten pencil eyeliner just to really tighten it and make it look sexy. I love doing this. It really brings your eye look together. Like really like a seamless look no gaps even if you're not you know doing anything to your eyes it just adds this like smokiness to your eyes at the bottom to make sure my eyes kind of pop and kind of brighten i like to go in with like a beige eyeliner not wa not white because that's just like kind of weird it's way too like obvious so i go with this beige one by um dior show it's a coal pencil eyeliner i haven't set my makeup yet uh because i feel like I like to do that last to let all the creams and the liquid products kind of sink into my skin and really like smooth by itself first. So I've pretty much done half of the eye already. Now I'm going to go in with the actual eye color. I got the Nude Sticks C and Sun Kid, which is like their latest kid. Um, it's so beautiful. I mainly also got it because of this one beautiful kind of blue shimmer shade. Like it's the it's called Cote Sur. there's this like this desert sun which is kind of um i don't know it's like an orangey beige like no sorry like yellowish beige kind of color but i'm really looking at this shimmer which is called sunrise star so i might do that i think that will work oh wow that's really orange I think that's kind of pretty actually, especially with the green dress. I think that works. Love how simple this nude sticks eye color is like applying. And it kind of like dries right away, but not too quick. You can tell that it won't budge. Also thanks to the eyeshadow primer. This is beautiful. I love this. That was so easy to use. I wish my entire eyeshadow collection was just sticks like this, but then I would miss out on a lot of things as well. I normally don't like peachy looks on my eyes because I don't like orangey, warmy tones. Like, I really hate it on me. And I also think it's so, like, overdone by everyone. I'm going to go in with La Isla, yeah, on the outer edge just to kind of deepen it and give it, give it some dimension. Okay, it's pretty orange. Go on this side first. Oh, yes, it's a bright pop of orange. Yes, good thing I went in very, very little. Love it! I never normally do these colors, but here we are. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, a little goes a long way, guys. Holy crap. I'm gonna take whatever's left on my finger and put it in the inner corner as well. Make it a spotlight. Halo kind of look. Kind of drag it out a little bit. Just to kind of set the eyeshadow look and add a little something, something to it. I'm gonna take this Natasha Denona Mini Star Palette, which is beautiful, by the way. This, yeah. I love this. I got it because of this color, to be honest with you. But I'm going to use this shade to put in the middle of my eyelid. Just to make it pop color. I'm not going to be crazy. I'm just going to press my finger in because it's very strong. Just focus it in the middle. I'm not even going to double dip because Natasha Denona goes a long way. <laughs> um, just to kind of vamp up the look a little bit, I'm going to go in with this Charlotte Tilbury palette which is um, kind of like a all over face palette it has everything that you need i'm going to go in with this sephora pro tapered crease brush number 19 and i'm going to dip the eye brighten color and go in with this three eye smoke and just kind of add to the edge just to kind of like smoke the outside out and mesh it with the orange i think that works really well together just to kind of bring everything in together I'm gonna have to set my eyes pretty quick. Yeah, it's getting a little too dark. Um, I have to quickly wrap this up. So with the same Charlotte Tilbury uh, palette, I'm gonna use the face contour. Just kind of set where I used 
cream bronzer earlier with the nude sticks tinted blur i'm going into the same shade to also contour my lips and my nose so i'm only doing powders now just to kind of set everything that i was doing with all the creams and the liquids i'm gonna actually set underneath my eyes a little bit with this cover effects matte setting powder but i'm just gonna set the areas where i use that dior foundation to act as a highlighting concealer and now with blush i'm going in with this oni brush that i bought and an hourglass blush in the shade iridescent flash now hourglass blush a little goes a long way i do literally just a tap like that oh and this is the shade it's quite pretty and i just i keep the blushes pretty high because you know as i'm getting older i want to still look like everything is just pulled back for highlight I'm going to go with this Hourglass Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. Quite, quite gorgeous. So their ambient line is always kind of like more metallic and more shiny than the others. I'm just going to dip them all in and just focus on the high points of my face. My battery is literally gone. Uh, and then I'm just going to do mascara. And that's pretty much it. Using this chanel eyelash curler just a little bit of a push because i still have some last extensions on and i'm going with this travel size benefit roller lash mascara and that's it you guys that is my makeup look for tonight i hope you enjoyed this really quick and no objective video but that's it um, i'm also going to set my face with this so Thanks for watching this portion and uh, I'll see you in a bit.